Hello and welcome back to another Disgaea RPG video. Today, we are going to be pushing for the next Gate of EXP, and that will be the Gate of EXP 10, with enemy level being at 2400. I'm going to be showing you and breaking down for you the requirements that you need to clear this stage using the Prism Ranger strategy. For those of you who are wondering what the Prism Ranger strategy is all about, I have an in-depth tutorial and a guide that shows everything about it and explain it in details uploaded on the channel. So do drop by the channel and take a look at it and I'll also be posting the link to the video in the description below. So first up, we are going to be selecting our friend support. The companion just needs to be an NE1 New Year Rosaline or a Tired Rosaline, right? So what we are after is the NE1 sub ability that provides 15% AoE damage. Any more than that will not be affecting our run much and I'm going to be heading over to my Prism Ranger team. This is the one that I'm using. I'm using the Prism Orange and Prism Indigo version. So just quickly show you a breakdown of my units. Here they are. My Prism Orange. It is at NE0. In fact, it is just at level 100, not even reincarnated yet. Frame power is at 23. So with that, it gives us an attack boost of 36% to the entire party. And in fact, all my Prism Orange have a similar percentage attack buff on their friend power skill. All right, so they are all 36% across the board. And Prism Indigo is at NE1. Take note about take note of that. For being at NE1, it gives us this sub ability. The ally with the next highest action gauge will have an attack of 15%. So the next ally that comes up after him will be our attired Rosaline. So Atai Rosaline is also at NE1 for the AoE damage plus 15%. NE2 gives an additional 30% to all stats except for the speed. Alright, so in order to gain as much attack power as possible, I have allocated the mana into its uh, into her bow mastery, alright? And with some of the points into her attack stats. Unfortunately, my equipment is not that great. I'm just using a Holy Spirit bow. If I'm not wrong, that's just a level 20, uh, rank 24 or rank 25 bow. Still quite on the low end. It is giving around 90k attack. And for that, I boosted her attack stat with a black belt, giving 60k attack. And then the rest are just speed options. So this bumps up her total attack stats to 612,407. Also note that she is at level 2067 out of a cap of 2100. Alright, so this is how the stats of all the units looks across the board and they are also all at a flat speed of 64. So I will be flashing the stats over here. So with regards to our previous post, I have several more comments stating that the boost multiplier of the skills seems to be applied to the total stats of the unit. Since majority of you are saying that, then we will be assuming that this is the case and we will be basing our calculations and breakdown based on the total stats of the unit of the carry. All right? So on top row over here is my specs of the carry, which is the New Year Rosaline. And then here is her attack stats, the boost multiplier after factoring all the boost that we have from the friend power and as well as the sub ability. So this is the final attack and then the damage boost from the two New Year Rosaline any one sub ability. So with that, let us get into the battle and see if we can clear this stage successfully. First things first, make sure that auto is off once we get into the battle. Alright, and then we are off to friend power. Alright, so the gate of EXP 10, the fishes, they have 2.7 million HP. Uh, I doubt my New Year Rosaline can do that much, but let's see. Alright, and let's go. Alright, 2.7 million, so we are dealing about 2.2 million. So that is something to know. 
so therefore we will have to power up the units much more and it will be great if I have a better ranking bow alright so with that we are off to more grinding before attempting the stage again I'm back after more grinding and let us tackle the same EXP gates again. We are after EXP gate 10 and since I've said we just need an NE1 New Year Rosaline friend, I'm going to pick one right here since there is one available to us. So what has happened to my team? This is what has happened. Basically nothing much has changed except for another round of incarnation, reincarnation for the New Year Rosaline. The friend boost from my Power Rangers, or rather the Prison Rangers, they are the same. They're still at 36% attack boost, alright? Or the same throughout across the board. And, yep, Tired Rosaline. Mm, what do we have to see? The attack now has been increased slightly from previously 612k to now 655k, all due to its her levels, alright? So the equipments have not changed, she's still using the same old equipment from the previous run. As well as the weapon mastery has not increased, the mana allocation, nothing has changed. So with that, let us jump right into the battle and see if these stats can we clear it once and for all. 3 stars, alright? If you can't, or rather if I can't, then I have some secrets up my sleeves that I'm going to show you guys afterwards. Alright, so let's go! Friend power time! Last friend boost and let's go! Alright, 2.7 million HP and we are dealing... What? Alright, there's, there's a slight increase, there's a slight increase. So it's not totally useless. Uh, with one round of reincarnation, we are now dealing 2.5 million damage out of the required 2.7 million damage. So, what can we conclude from here? Well, an addition of, let's say, how much is this? 30k base total stat results in an increment of 300k. So 30k translates to 300k damage after applying all the boost multipliers and the damage boost. So, alright then, it's time for us to come up with the finale, the ultimate. So, yep, this is one of the secrets that I have been withholding. After more item world grinding, the game has finally blessed me with a higher rarity or higher rank bow. And here is it. The almighty rank 34 bow, the Eritron, right? So this bow is godlike, I must say. It's crazy compared to my current bow. My current bow is only giving 90k attack stats. And after the her weapon mastery, which is at level 20, it bump, it got bumped up to 129k. And Eritron, you can see it is having a base attack stats of 247k, close to 250k, and after weapon mastery, it got bumped up to 347. An additional 100k attack stats purely from the weapon mastery, right? So weapon mastery is definitely no joke. And let's go right up and attach it. After equipment, you can see, wow, the sweet attack stats. It is currently now at 800, uh, 872,000 Alright, so with that Let us see if we have the power to clear the trees Clear it with 3 stars now So I will say that this After equipping the rank 34 It should be quite easy for us Which is why I do not want to show it first hand Because I want to give you guys the ballpark The minimum requirement To clear the st stage with 3 stars, right? Because once I equip this bow, everything will be overkill and there is no meaning to it anymore. But nonetheless, you can still see the minimum requirement should be somewhere close to this number over here. If we can say that an additional 30k stats translates to 30k, 300k damage, then perhaps another 20k or more stats will do. Although I still, although I am aware 
that the damage calculation equation is a squared formula, nonetheless, it should still translate to a, a, almost the same number, alright? So now, we just need an RNG, but, alright, nope. But I have reduced my doppelganger to SP cost 20, so we have more chance right now. Now we need 7 bonus SP. Oh shit, I'm doing the wrong stuff. I'm, I'm supposed to be attacking, not friend boost. And it looks like I just screwed it up for myself. Alright, never mind. Let's give it up. Alright, and after this crazy boost, you can see I'm dealing 4 million damage, so it's way overkill for this stage already. Alright, let's hope for the team boost, the team attack. Come on, SP please. With New Year Rosaline. Alright. We still need 8 more SP to make this a successful run. Come on. Oh no, come on. Four. Oh man. Another 20. 20 SP down the drain. Oh well. Come on, give it to me, the team attack. Yeah, that's right, 5, 4, just need one more. One more. Not giving it to me, alright. We still have one more round. One more. Alright, we are set. Now let's go for the crazy boost. Come on, show us your ridiculous damage with your new shiny bow. 8 to 9 million damage. Alright, so I hope this video has been informative for you guys. Even though I did not really achieve the goal of showing exactly the minimum requirement required to clear it with 3 stars, at least we have an idea it is somewhere around the range of 655,000 to about 680,000 total stats of your, for your unit in order to deal the minimum amount of damage required to one-shot the fishies. Alright, so... Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the content so far, do remember to smash the like button and leave. Alright. <laughs> Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more exciting content like this coming up your way. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.